here, we are facing many challenges, such as high rate of unemployment at 13.9% as at the second quarter of 2022, high rate of inflation at 54% as of February 2023, as well as the economic crisis which we find ourselves in now. In most advanced countries today, agriculture was a driver of economic development. Brazil, China, Malaysia, and Thailand are recent examples of the agricultural success stories. The European Union gives us an example of how investments in agriculture can impact economic transformation. Ghana has fallen into an almost perpetual cycle of dependency on external financial support from the International Monetary Fund and other bilateral partners to sustain our economy. In 66 years of our independence, Ghana has approached the IMF on 17 different occasions to borrow. The lesson from our journey of the economy of Ghana, in the short to medium term, only the agricultural sector can establish that capacity to achieve sustained rapid economic growth. I strongly believe that prioritizing agriculture is a sure way for achieving the accelerated growth needed in other sectors of the economy and creating the much needed jobs for our people, especially the youth. Key amongst them is the high cost of feed and the high importation of poultry products onto our market. There is a double-edged solution to this. The first is to regulate the importation of chicken and other meat products into the country. And secondly, to address the cost of feed. This will be tackled as a major responsibility of the incoming Grain Development Authority, which I will speak on later. There is the urgent need for things to be done differently if we are to succeed in transforming our agriculture. The critical success factors